What's going on boys and girls? Today we're going to be doing some butternut squash fries. I had never had any before and I had these this butternut squash left over from another recipe in my refrigerator. I said, you know what? I want to do something different with them. So today we're going to do butternut squash fries and they're going to be gluten free. You don't have to make yours gluten free, but I'm doing mine that way. So just follow me along. Let me know what you think. All right, like I said, I had already started um, before I decided to make this video. So we got, a, I've already started slicing the butternut squash here. Um, we got some chickpea flour. We got some um, gluten-free measure for measure flour. Um, you can use it just like you do regular flour and some Tony Satchery, some dill weed and some onion powder. We're gonna chop these up like fries first and foremost, and then we'll show you the batter mix. And I'm just going to do a few for right now, y'all. I'm not really, really hungry tonight, but I wanted to try something different. And I'm, I'm not trying to make a really lengthy video. All right, we're going to take a small amount of the chickpea flour. And that's probably about a cup, y'all. I didn't really measure it out. And a small amount of the gluten-free flour. And we're this is going to be our dredge. This is going to be our, our uh, batter, our liquid part of it. We're just going to, we're going to add water to this right here until it gets um, real soupy, kind of like for a wet batter. This one, we're gonna add some spices too. We're gonna put some Tony Saturies in there. And you want to probably put about maybe a teaspoon or so in there. Tony Saturies always has salt in it, pepper and things like that. We're gonna add some dill weed. Add some dill weed. That's probably about a teaspoon full. And we're gonna add some onion powder and that's about a teaspoon full of that as well too now it just depends on your your taste yeah you can season it however you like to season yours and we're just gonna, oh, 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 we're gonna give it a little bit of a mix okay we'll come back here now for the chickpea flour mixture i literally just put water into it until it got to this consistency right here and what we're going to do Again, we got all of this mixed up here. We're gonna take our take our butternut squash, give it around in here just to get it covered. Then give it around in here to get it covered in here. And then we're going to go back in here and get it covered in there. Get it nice and covered in there as well. And then we're going to put it off to the side. And we're going to do them all like that, y'all. We're going to put these off to the side here, though. But again, we're going to do them all like that. So we'll, we're not going to go through that right now, but just wanted to show you what we're going to do. Alrighty, y'all. That's what they look like once you get them all dredged out. And now we're going to put them in the oil. And we, we're using a, it's actually like a mixture of coconut and, and canola oil. Alrighty, let's do this. Let's go ahead and put one of these in here. Put, well, put a bunch of them in there. Don't drop them in there, y'all, like I just did. Just kind of lay them in there. And we want to go about three minutes per side. And we're only going to do a few of these because it's going to bubble up like that right there. So we don't want it to be spilling over. All right. We're going to let that cook for about three minutes and then we'll come back. All right. And the first little bunch, you see how the bubbles went away? First little bunch is done. We're going to, we're not done. We're going to flip it. Because you want to make sure these are nice and crispy. And some of them are, um, the grease is covering them really, really well, so they're probably cooked all the way through. But we want them to be nice and crispy, so we're going to go about another two minutes. So the total time that you're going to cook these would be anywhere from, from five to six minutes, y'all. Just set my timer. Did I leave that on? Yeah, I did. Guys and gals, does that not look good? Good gracious. If that looks as good, is that taste as good as it looks? I will be doing these a lot. Let me do the second batch and we'll come back and see what it tastes like. Guys, the second batch that I made, these right here, they're even more crispy. Look at that crust on those. And that's because I, I ran them through the wet 
the wet uh, batter again and then back through the flour. So that makes a big difference. Wow, let's taste these things. All right, y'all, we're going to try these butternut squash crispy fries, gluten free. Let's see what it tastes like. You know what? They taste like butternut squash fries. <laughs> They're good. They're very good. Got a nice, got a nice little crunch. Probably need to add a little bit more salt to it. But these are very good. I like them. I will be trying them again. You should try them too, guys. So if you like this video, like it, subscribe, get your little notifications, um, share it with your friends. Try you some butternut squash. And now you know what? I bet you if you put it on some some um some ketchup on it or some um some thousand island or something, they're even better. These are really good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Peace.